All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Leatherman Charge Plus TTI here with me for a quick unboxing and uh, uh, video review. Uh, but hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content, because look at this, what we have. Pretty cool uh, card over here. Leatherman is just uh, explaining you how to use the Leatherman. You've got your nylon sheet with um, an interesting uh, press fit button. Leatherman um, engraved, like, kind of like not engraved, but stamped into this uh, button over here. You've got um, uh, elastic band to actually keep maybe like a slim flashlight or some uh, other extra hardware uh, like extension bit or something like that and then you've got your uh, tool uh, which is uh, a very very interesting one um, and not a cheap one because this is the titanium version uh, of the Charge Plus. Um, so let's uh, check first some size uh, uh, comparison because uh, this is, uh, uh, for example, the Leatherman Free uh, P4. And you can see that this guy is a little bit uh, bigger than this one. Uh, something that is a little bit bigger as well is the Surge right over here. Um, also, you can check for example uh, from the uh, free series this is the T4 and you can see of course that this is not as as big as this but uh, a little bit smaller but it has basically the same kind of thickness so uh, the T4 is kind of like a chubby one all right uh, also another one we can uh, uh, see right over here is the uh, also from the free series is the K2 and of course the K4 I mean uh, they're gonna be the same uh, same knife just the thickness is gonna be uh, different uh, and for example you can check right over here uh, the charge is the same thickness as the K4 um, also, just to give you another perspective, uh, this is the Raptor in the closed position, uh, so you can have an idea of how big this uh, uh, charge is. Um, this is a very, very interesting uh, uh, multi-tool from uh, uh, Leatherman. Um, there's uh, uh, 19 uh, tools hidden in this package which is amazing like the, the level of engineering that went on to do this is uh, is pretty spectacular so i'm uh, i'm impressed um so let's just get started from just like a quick look on the outside you've got these titanium stone washed uh, uh, handles so you have one two three and four slabs of titanium which are going to contribute to increase the resistance and uh, uh, durability of the tool uh, you've got the this uh, stone wash pattern uh, pattern going on in the flats and this uh I would say like a desert floor kind of leopard uh, uh, spots uh, over here and over here. Really, really nicely designed, I have to say. Um, so the charge tool is uh, like this. Basically, you've got a set of uh, pliers on the inside uh, with some tools. And on the outside, you've got basically four main tools. Uh, so let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, what is here. So first of all, you've got, of course, course uh, uh, your main blade this is uh, uh, s30 v knife so this is not your regular 420 hc uh, blade like you find for example in the surge in the wave uh, even in the p4 where is it right over here this is 420 hc steel uh, which is good i mean it's a good uh, good tool good steel for like a utility knife or like a multi-tool very good but S30V, guys, is uh, on another level. It's going to have a nicer edge retention and uh, uh, it's going to deliver like a, a, nice, a much nicer corrosion resistance. Uh, and uh, it's it's also um, relatively easy to sharpen and to, to keep the edge. So very, very good choice. I appreciate the improvement over here. Uh, you have a nice chamfering going on on the spine of this blade. Nice drop point with, uh, I would say, 20% belly and straight edge up to this very, very tiny, but it's there, sharpening choil. 
you have uh, basically no billboarding going on, just S30V uh, stamped, printed right over here. And uh, this blade has, uh, let's say, a liner lock, which has, uh, let's say, uh, an over travel uh, stop, which is made uh, uh, possible by this titanium scale right over here. In fact, you can see that the lock cannot overextend because of the presence of this titanium um, uh, scale. And then you just push this down and you're going to be able to disengage and to put in the closed position your blade. Uh, comes very sharp from factory and this is your main blade. Uh, on the same side but opposite you find this pretty pretty cool um, file. Uh, this is uh, this is a wood and metal file and uh, um, this side over here is diamond coated so very very robust indeed and it's quite thick uh, so I really appreciate that for example uh, just to give you an idea of uh, the uh, thickness for example this is a saw uh, but it's uh, look at that it's much thinner. Uh, if you check, uh, uh, sorry, you don't have it here, but if you check it on the uh, surge, you see, it's the same thickness of the surge, which is like a heavy duty uh, tool. I mean, this is like an interchangeable one, but still, it's a very, very good thickness uh, right over here. And on the other side, of course, you have the same mechanism to uh, lock the tool in the open position. You just flip 180 degrees and on the other side, you're gonna be presented with a 420HC serrated knife uh, with a very, very cool cutting hook at the end. So this is gonna be very cool to um, cut uh, straps, to cut uh, zip ties, to cut uh, like seat belts. So it can be also useful in an emergency situation 100%. So very, very cool, nice serrations. And of course you have your um, hole, which has been chamfered because uh, you want to be able to deploy this with one hand. Of course, again, same kind of locking mechanism uh, right there. On the other side, you've got your, um, your saw, which is uh, a little bit thin, uh, regarding the stock but you're gonna mainly cut wood with this one but you can see it's clearly flexing uh, uh, in this uh, in this way um, also and also of course like this hook can be used as, as a gut uh, like um, uh, um, something like to 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 pull uh, stuff out because of this hook of course so it, it can be useful in uh, in many ways uh, and this is basically it from the for the outside portion of the knife except you've got just a little secret tool over here. So basically this is a hidden lanyard loop that you can just be pulled out to uh, access this feature. So if you want to use a lanyard you're gonna have it to do through here. On the, other, uh, on the outside you have nothing else going on. Um, of course the pocket clip it, it came with this and it's uh, an optional you can just remove it like that. So you need to push this guy uh, and then this is gonna go here and it's a nice deep carry stainless steel polished pocket clip really really cool and when it's in place it's there's no movement uh, just a little bit of wiggling but it's not uh, flawed like this one you see same clip same design but there's some design issue over here which uh, allows you to scratch your handle first but then to have a not so secure uh, positioning of the clip and therefore maybe a little bit iffy in the pocket but that's just uh, a very small detail. Uh, other than that on the outside there's uh, nothing else. If you open the knife you're gonna be presented with this pretty cool needle nose pliers right over here and regular pliers uh, right there. And if you see, you have, of course, like a premium steel replaceable wire cutters right over there with, if you check, right over here. That's going to be, again, premium replaceable hard wire cutter, which is embedded with these uh, replaceable uh, parts. So you can use it if it gets marred. You're just going to get a couple uh, new ones and boom, brand new wire cutter going on in the house. So very, very cool. Um, 
also uh, you have right over here there's even uh, there's no uh, symbol but you have like a, an electrical crimper right over here so you just put it there and just crimp it like that so very very uh, clever to place another tool in that uh, little space and then on this side uh, uh, for example you can access uh, uh, your tool this is like a large uh, bit driver over here and of course these tools have like a little hook to be able to pull them out like this one uh, for example this is a very small bit driver like for eyeglasses or things like that and uh, which is by the way replaceable and reversible you have flat head and phillips head uh, screwdriver so you just uh, can decide which one to use and there's a springy tension going on which is going to keep it in place so really really nicely designed and of course you've got um, your spring actioned uh, scissors it, they are like uh, pretty small uh, but for example if you check uh, your micra scissors uh, you can see the uh, actual size of that which is uh, probably similar to the size of the scissors in the no actually no it's a little bit smaller than the scissors uh, present in the uh, squirt but look at the squirt it's kind of like tiny right um so and these are foldable so you just have to uh, remember to fold them back like this disengage and just fold them in the uh, closed position so just remember about that and on this side you have just a couple tools um, of course uh, you've got your large bit driver which is going to be uh, using the leatherman uh, shaped uh, bits and there's a bunch you can buy and uh, you just close this guy right over here and on this side you've got your can opener and bottle opener as well uh, over here and also uh, here you can just use this as a stripper uh, because it's uh, it's what it does you can strip wires pretty easily uh, here because it's really really sharp cans bottles are going to be on this side uh, all these tools have nice uh, uh, nice thickness to the stock so they're very, very robust um, the action of the overall tool is nice it's a little bit stiff at the beginning but it's gonna uh, there's gonna be like a break-in period uh, especially here like in this point over here you see this movement it requires some strength uh, to be applied to the tool in order for this to happen and be locked in place and then you can just use it and it, it's not gonna go anywhere so very very different from the action that you've got see in the uh, p4 or p2 uh, series so where the, there's a snap in mechanism and then like this it's gonna be of course in place and then you have to break this for the Tool to be stored uh, in this case is a little bit different there's not really like a lock um, like that they're just like some friction uh, holding the tool in this position and therefore giving you the chance of doing this kind of movement so really really cool um, also you've got a ruler which is on the inside over here uh, you have both centimeters and inches uh, going on on each side and uh, um, basically this is it i mean uh, these are the 19 tools that are uh, hidden in the leatherman uh, charge uh, plus uh, tti uh, and i can i can say this is a very very cool one um, i'm 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 liking it i i spent Especially like the titanium going on it gives that a nice uh, premium uh, feel and actually substance I, I appreciate the s30v still employed in this one and all of course the tools that are there is just like a very very uh, cool one so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned